What's funny? <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? quick tip when I'm setting up solar panels. I try to get it so that the shadow line is in line with the foot because then it's perfectly perpendicular to the sun. The sun's right there. So then I will move it a little bit further this way so that as the sun tracks across the sky this will be better in line with it. This way I don't have to move it for like another hour or so. Do the same with this guy. What are you doing? Watching old videos. We don't have internet right now, I'm just watching them, the ones that are on my iPad. Do you want coffee? Yep. I want to make mine delicious. Do you want yours to be delicious? Or do you want yours coffee? I don't want mine to be gross. Well, do you want me to put a bunch of weird stuff in there or no? Well, I don't need much coffee because I already had some. I'll just have a little bit of black. Okay. It could still happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just so big. A little bit of coconut powder. This stuff's nice because it works as a milk substitute since we don't have a refrigerator. A little bit of cinnamon. This is dandelion blend. It's like, what is it? Dandelion and root and chicory root. A little bit of mushroom extract. A little bit of cayenne and a little bit of fermented maca. I also decided to try this stuff out because it was on sale and it's super effective at giving us energy. <laughs> we found out. <laughs> Make the bed. Hi, handsome boy. Delicious. Okay, that's all for today's video. Um, Let's go outside. Look at that. The people that were here before us built this teepee. It's kind of cool. We can check that out later. Some people have asked what I do for my beard. I don't consider myself a professional beardsman by any means, but I'll show you what I do. Here's my bathroom stuff I have deodorant this like face oil stuff from Zum. boar's hairbrush i've had this for like 10 years scissors 
And then I have one of these guys, which I use often for my beard. And then this guy I use for my hair. One of the first things that I learned in living in the scamp that I, ha I didn't know about skincare and having a beard is that my face would get super itchy under my beard because I washed it so much. So this is just that facial oil. Just like some kind of oil, it'll just help so that your um, skin underneath your beard doesn't get itchy. And then I just brush it in. And then when I trim my beard, I just use scissors. I'll like look for wild hairs like that and trim it. I know that seems ridiculous, but I've had so many, like any time I grew my beard out, I would always nick it with electric trimmers and then I'd be screwed. I'd have to cut the whole thing off and start again. That sucks. So I started using scissors like this and you got to make all these weird faces to make it happen. So this is how it goes. And if you get the light kind of behind you, you can see where different wild ones are sticking up. Give them a little trim. And yeah, that's how I do that. Major thing about having a beard, mine was always super itchy when I lived in the city and I grew it out like pretty long a few times. Why that happened is because I would wash it every day and then I thought that if it was itchy, I just needed to wash it to make it not itchy, but that kept drying it out. So if you can like not wash your beard, but every like four or five days or more even, it will like lay a lot nicer and it won't stink if you just put oil in it like once every few days. It's just like hair on your head. It won't get so itchy if you don't wash it so much. Cheers. I love being parked on the edge of cliffs like this because looking out over the expanse and just contemplating, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'll do that and then generally after a while I'll think of something that I want to re record or keep as a thought and then I'll bust out my journal. Elsa, what's the date? And I also just posted a video on my YouTube channel, which I use very infrequently, of all my mindfulness practices, like meditation and stretching and working out and journaling and cold exposure. So it's not the best video ever, but um, I had had it for over a year all edited and I didn't know what to do with it because we weren't gonna put it on Elsa's channel. So I just went ahead and posted it because I figured it might help some people out. So it's up, it's not the best thing ever, but you can check it out. The problem right now is we don't have any internet, so I don't even know how to look for morels. I just know what they look like. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> I listened to that podcast about ticks, and now I think I have ticks on me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's go. Bargain is really cool. Okay. I want to figure out what they are.
Hey, pine cones. It's a Douglas fir. You can tell by, see the little, looks like a mouse butt. Pretty cool though. I wanna go higher, but oh, I got sap on my butt, dang it. Making me catch it. <laughs> Got it. This rock is really slick. Whoa. Could not be comfortable to fall in. <laughs> There's the chair. You ready for the hump? Good boy. Got a little sweat going after all the things today. So I'm gonna go down to the river and wash off. Water is still pretty cold, and it's not super hot out here, so that was kind of a lot. And we're home. Every time I walk up to this camp, I still marvel at how cool I think it is. It's like a little space station. And it's still crazy to think that we live in that. And it houses everything that we need and more. It's pretty crazy.
welcome back to another podcast episode. Today we are in a scamp and we're going to be talking about the virtues of simple solutions and how simplicity has improved our lives. This is something we have been wanting to talk about for a long time, but it's almost as though we've been making the script too complex to even talk about simplicity. Generally, people tend to resist simplicity, us included. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to get to the bottom of why that may be. And in doing so, we realize that it is super easy to hide in complexity, which is sort of not intuitive. But the idea of hiding in reasons why you... This is the no-fall zone. <laughs> okay, call my eye. Hashtag Katniss. Sick. Lara Croft. I'm not Katniss. I've got one shot left. Better make it count. Well, I'll make it count. Sick! Swag Archer Walk. <laughs> you can't just leave it. Get it. Get it. Wiggle it and pull it out. Wiggle, twist, and pull. I can't. No, you go. Go get it. Again. Oh, I'm just so strong. I shot it way too deep. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to... <sighs> Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to... <sighs> oh. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you want. And tune in next time for more fun shenanigans in the scamp. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.